I'm Mike Byer in Lexington, where district court has ruled that a local preacher used his position at church to have sex with a juvenile. I'll have the details coming up. With one student in the hospital potentially fighting bacterial meningitis, we will show you what officials here at the University of Kentucky are doing to protect others on campus. Coming up, we'll take you to an elementary school in Lexington where students are treating the statewide tornado drill as the real thing. This is WKYT News at Noon. Good afternoon from WKYT News. I'm Barbara Bailey. I'm Bill Bryant. Here's what's happening at noon. A health scare this midday on the University of Kentucky campus. Leaders say one student has potentially been diagnosed with bacterial meningitis. That has not been confirmed. But as WKYT's Hillary Thornton reports, UK is still taking precautions to try to keep other students safe. And that is our top story at noon. Hillary? With one student in the hospital fighting what is potentially bacterial meningitis, officials here at the University of Kentucky are now working to protect others on campus. The university sent out a letter to students Monday evening letting them know a UK student possibly has the bacterial infection that does cause meningitis. In that letter, officials noting that confirmation of the diagnosis is still pending. Also explaining those at risk of exposure had been contacted and were given medication to help prevent transmission of the disease. This does come just days after multiple cases of the mumps were confirmed on campus. Students we spoke to say because of how that was handled and how at this point there is only one person showing signs of meningitis, this latest health concern is not causing any alarm. It seemed like they did a pretty good job of uh, catching illnesses like they had uh, the mumps. They sent out a lot of emails about that. So I'm seeing pretty confident that they can take care of things like that. Now, UK officials say anyone who was not contacted is not considered at an increased risk, and that includes students who live in the same residence hall or share classes with that student. In Lexington, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. Now, university officials say the student is not being treated at UK Medical Center, but at another local hospital. Lexington-based printer maker Lexmark International announced today it's cutting 550 jobs worldwide, or about 4% of its workforce. The company would not say if any of the layoffs will take place at its Lexington headquarters. The cuts are part of a restructuring plan expected to save the company $67 million this year and $100 million next year. Lexmark says the jobs will be eliminated over the next 12 months. 2,300 people work at the Lexington facility. Obviously, we continue to work on that story. And the case against a Lexington preacher who police say used his position to have sex with a juvenile is moving forward. Tony Sasnet is charged with four counts of rape, sexual abuse, and prohibited use of an electronic communication system. He used to work for the Greater Faith Apostolic Church. WKYT's Mike Byer is outside the Fayette County Court Complex with the latest from today's hearing. Mike? The big question this morning at Tony Sazit's preliminary hearing, was the preacher in a position of special trust? After a testimony from a Lexington detective, district court ruled he was. Sazit's attorney told the judge they dispute that he was in a position of special trust with the girl who was 16 at the time. However, district court found probable cause, meaning Sazit's case will be handed over to the grand jury. The 39-year-old faces a long list of charges, including first-degree sexual abuse, four counts of third-degree rape, and one count of using electronic communication to get a minor to do a sexual offense. A police report says Sazit, who worked for the Greater Faith Apostolic Church, met the girl at church. The arrest citation also says the victim's phone had sexually explicit messages from Sasnit, as well as messages asking for nude photos. Now, at this time, Sasnit's trial date has yet to be scheduled. In Lexington, Mike Byer, WKYT. Mike, thank you. And Sasnit's bond remains uh, in the uh, Fayette County Detention Center. Uh, he is still there on a $10,000 bond. He is no longer affiliated with the church. Disciplinary hearings against five Paris City police officers will be picking up again tomorrow. Police Chief Rob Williams wants the officers to be fired. He presented hours of video evidence to the city commission, claiming that the officers spend too much time hanging around the police dispatch center instead of out on patrol. The attorneys for the officers say it is a case of retaliation. And according to the Herald Leader, the officers are expected to address the commission tomorrow morning. 
Well, it's a nice day here on the bluegrass with sunny skies and only a slight chance of rain. But those chances increase as we head into the nighttime hours. WKYT meteorologist Micah Harris is live in our first alert weather center now with a look ahead. Micah. Well, we're already above average for our typical high this time of year. Typically, we're in the mid 40s. We're not even close to that. We're actually in the 50s already. And we're going to be finishing off in the mid 50s later on this afternoon. A really nice feeling day. Most of cloudy skies will prevail just due to the fact we still have a little rain down toward the mountains. Southeastern Kentucky throwing off some cloud cover into our region. A pretty decent day, we'll call it, at 54. But I want you to focus in on one thing. Not the couple of light showers down in the mountains, but look back toward the west. This is a large, it's going to be a violent system, very dangerous situation setting up for the deep south. And you'll hear all about it later on on the national news and here in local news. Uh, possibility of some long track tornadoes down into Louisiana, Mississippi, also Alabama. And that system actually rolls through us. Now, we will not, and I repeat, we will not see that type of severe weather threat. But what kind of weather are we going to be seeing overnight and into the morning hours? I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to show you when the rain moves in, what you can expect, and when it switches over to snow. That's coming up. All right, Micah. Well, folks across Kentucky heard tornado sirens this morning as part of a statewide tornado drill. This is Severe Weather Awareness Week in Kentucky, and it's timely because there's a chance for thunderstorms this week. WKYT's Mike Linden is at Mill Creek Elementary in Lexington with some tips to keep you and your family safe. Mike. To kick off Severe Weather Awareness Week in Kentucky, students from Mill Creek Elementary in Lexington are treating the statewide tornado drill as the real thing. At approximately 10.07, the first statewide tornado drill of the year began in Kentucky. For the 500 pre-K through 5th grade students at Mill Creek Elementary, it might as well have been the real thing. In about a minute and a half, students made their way to the gymnasium on the bottom floor of the school and assumed a safe position for another minute. School administrators say it's drills like this one that teaches students about the danger of severe weather. You know, every good athletic coach, you know, they practice so once the game is on, they're prepared. It's the same situation. We practice and hopefully the game never happens. But if it does, we are prepared. Ross says this isn't the first time students have practiced a tornado drill this year. He says that they normally practice fire drills, tornado drills, and even earthquake drills. In Lexington, Mike Linden, WKYT. Kentucky emergency management officials say in the safest place to be in the event of a tornado is the lowest point of your home away from windows. Well, the polls are open in Kentucky's oldest city this midday, where voters are deciding whether to expand alcohol sales. Harrodsburg already has limited sales in larger restaurants. This proposal on the ballot today would loosen that restriction from a 100-seat minimum down to restaurants that seat 50 people or more. The polls will be open in Harrodsburg until 6 o'clock this evening. Now, last month, voters in London expanded sales to include package sales, and wet-dry elections are set for McCrary County on March 8 and Adair County coming up on March 22nd. A central Kentucky business is trying to make birthdays a little sweeter for children in need. For the fifth straight year, Sweet Blessings is having an all day bake a thon. Right now, volunteers are making, baking, and decorating dozens of birthday cakes at Maxwell Street Presbyterian Church. Their goal is to make 100 cakes today. They're such extraordinary cakes, and so it's not like kind of your box cake that you just whip some icing on, and they're made with, I think, so much love that maybe that shines through in the cakes when the kids get them, too. Sweet Blessings is a nonprofit organization that creates specialty birthday cakes for children ages 4 to 17 who are facing life-threatening illnesses or poverty. A bright spot for them, certainly. Well, President Obama is moving forward with plans to shut down Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. We'll tell you about the proposal that he has just submitted to Congress coming up on Kentucky's number one midday news. Also ahead, a Russian security guard is living large as Academy Award nominee Leonardo DiCaprio. We'll explain next on WKYT. It's time to wake up. You've got things to do. Mouths to feed, work to get done. It's another Kentucky morning. 
and Kentucky mornings start here. Good morning, I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. You don't have time to waste, so we don't waste your time. Simple as that. Breaking and overnight news, weather to plan your day, plus traffic you can take with you. Make WKYT This Morning part of your Kentucky morning. Weekdays from 4.30 to 7 on WKYT. I wasn't too thrilled about dentures, but I need to be able to chew. So I called Aspen Dental. They got me right in because my visit was long overdue. And no one on staff even made me feel bad that I had been in since the leg warmer fad. My new dentures came with a great guarantee, so this giant pretzel's got nothing on me. With dentures starting at $3.99 and a money-back guarantee, dentistry's never been easier. Call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL. After you're injured at work, a lot of times the insurance company will attempt to call you, take statements. Don't speak to them until you speak with an experienced workers' compensation attorney. The insurance company will attempt to settle your case for pennies on the dollar. Before you talk to the insurance company, call us first. Our job is to make sure you get all the money you deserve. Call Morgan, Collins, and Yeast. 1-800-55-WILDCAT. Think you might be pregnant? No judgment, no pressure, just help. AssuranceCare.org. And hopefully this check will make things a lot easier. It'll cover your medical bills, and we've even given you an allowance to help cover your expenses while your car's getting worked on. All you need to do is sign right here, and we'll take care of everything else. Thank you so much. What's a smiling cheater? Jay Marshall, a smiling cheater is still a cheater. If you want to make sure you get all your money, you better call Hughes and Coleman. Call 800-800-4600. Did your family set a goal to become healthier in the new year? One family did and lost 300 pounds at Ageless. Bruce lost 92 pounds, Adam lost 64 pounds, and Catherine lost 151 pounds. For a medically supervised affordable weight loss solution, call Ageless today for a free consultation. Give us five minutes to make your life easier. MomsEveryday.com. Welcome back to WKYT News at Noon. Fearing President Obama would take executive action to close the Guantanamo Bay Detention Center in Cuba, Congress took steps to make sure the president must go through with them if he plans to shut down the facility. Today, the president unveiled his proposal, and Mark Albert is at the White House with the details. President Obama announced his latest proposal to fulfill a campaign promise and close the detention facility at Guantanamo Bay in Cuba. It's counterproductive to our fight against terrorists because they use it as propaganda in their efforts to recruit. There are 91 prisoners still being held at Gitmo. The plan is to transfer 35 of them to other countries. The remaining 56, including 9-11 mastermind Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, would be moved to a facility here in the U.S. The administration is looking at 13 different locations, including existing prisons in South Carolina, Kansas, and Colorado. I don't want to pass this problem on to the next president, whoever it is. The White House says moving the prisoners to the continental U.S. would save as much as $85 million per year. But it will take a one-time cost of up to $475 million to implement the plan, which means getting the approval of Congress. And that appears unlikely. It would be illegal under current law to transfer foreign terrorists at Guant Guantanamo into the United States. Congressman Mac Thornberry, the chairman of the House Armed the Services Committee, called this more of a PR move than a real plan to work with Congress. But he cracked the door a bit when he told WMAV Radio that it's not impossible to shut down Gitmo and that he's willing to hold a hearing on the details of the president's proposal. The White House is urging Congress to act quickly. Mark Albert for CBS News, the White House. And last week, President Obama announced his plans to visit Cuba next month. It will be the first trip to Cuba by a sitting chief executive in more than half a century. Republican voters in Nevada will be heading to their caucuses tonight. Frontrunner Donald Trump is on track to claim another state victory, it looks like in the polling, ahead of Super Tuesday, which is a week from today. Trump's biggest threat is Florida Senator Marco Rubio, who racked up a slew of new endorsements. Turnout is only expected to be in the 10 to 15 percent range. President Francis J. Underwood is sitting pretty in Washington, D.C. A painting of the fictional U.S. chief executive played by Kevin Spacey in the Netflix drama House of Cards was unveiled at the National Portrait Gallery. 
It's a joint project between British artist Jonathan Yeo and the Smithsonian Museum. The portrait will be on public display through October. The fourth season of House of Cards debuts March 4th. Well, one of this year's top Oscar contenders has a plus size twin. A 33 year old Russian security guard is a chubbier version of Leonardo DiCaprio. The resemblance exploded on social media, and now he has his own reality show called Romance with DiCaprio. On the show, he's taken voice lessons, consulted with a dietitian, and undergone cosmetic procedures to make him look more like Leo. He also did a recreation of The Revenant with an alternate ending involving the bear polishing an Oscar statue. So far, there's been no response from the real Leonardo DiCaprio. Coming up at 1230, we'll take you inside a committee meeting at the state capitol where Lexington firefighters are asking lawmakers to give firefighters death benefits if they die from cancer. Massive system back toward the southern states is tracking eastbound, which will give a pretty dangerous situation for the deep south. But what does that mean for us? I'll have that in your forecast coming up next. Get WKYT news and weather updates on Wild 1039. With a variety of fresh made seafood meals starting at just $4.99, no one does seafood like these. Try our new homestyle flounder meal or double dozen shrimp or our grilled menu featuring new Tuscan tilapia, each with two sides and hush puppies. For full meals starting at $4.99, it's got to be D's. When I'm lucky enough to meet you out in public, the question I'm most often asked is what is Emma up to? So let me tell you. As usual, she stays busy investigating accident scenes, sniffing out evidence, and solving cases. But recently, she became a big sister. Meet Molly. Emma loves Molly. She doesn't know if she's her kid's sister or daughter. Unfortunately, she sometimes thinks she's the baby. When you write Emma, she'll write you back. Morgan & Morgan, for our dogs. We're walking the streets delivering a simple message. Where there's smoke, there could be fire. This is the start of a five-year program with our partner, Kentucky Power, to install smoke detectors in local neighborhoods. The smoke alarms are free. The only thing we ask is they let us show them how to use them. Doesn't matter how cold it is outside, how early they got up that morning, or how far they've walked, they know that they've possibly saved a life. We may be a power company, but the true power in our communities comes from our people. Are you uncomfortable in your own home? Do you have high energy bills? Is your home protected from wind, ice, and hail? Every home needs something. That's why from replacement windows and entry doors to roofing, siding, and sunrooms, Champion makes what every home needs. For over 60 years, Champion has made homes more comfortable and energy efficient, backed by our exclusive lifetime warranty. So call 888 champion today or visit GetChampionTV.com for great deals on all our products. Because every home needs a Champion. Farmer, Frankfurt outsider, that's Chuck Tackett. Pro-family and pro-business. Chuck Tackett rejects the notion by Washington liberals that the answer to every problem is another big government program. We can trust Chuck Tackett to put our families first by standing up to big government and big business. In the special election for state representative March 8th, send a message to the career politicians. Vote Chuck Tackett. Farmer, Frankfurt outsider. With a variety of fresh made seafood meals starting at just $4.99, no one does seafood like D's. Try our new homestyle flounder meal or double dozen shrimp or our grilled menu featuring new Tuscan tilapia, each with two sides and hush puppies. For full meals starting at $4.99, it's got to be D's. I'm WKYT's Miranda Combs and I stand for Kentucky. Now, your zone by zone forecast with meteorologist Micah Harris. A few sprinkles, a couple of light showers down toward the mountainous regions in southeastern Kentucky. Other than that, we are dry and we're going to remain dry for the most part and toward the rest of your afternoon. Off into the evening, that is a different story. This is not the bulk of the rain starting. This is a little piece of energy flying out ahead of the main system. And you can see stretching from the Howe Rogers Parkway through London all the way down to, say, 119 and also 421, back toward 15. Those are areas that got a little rain this morning, and you know what? You're still seeing a little bit of it out ahead of the main system. Main system obviously is that way. Now we're looking out ahead, and that's those little pieces just running right up the Appalachian Mountains and rolling right into the mountainous regions of southeastern Kentucky. This is an area of major concern for the southeast, not so much our region. 
but for the southeast, it is heading over toward the east and northeast. Now, for Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, you're talking about a tornado outbreak situation that's setting up. Uh, this is a setup for long track tornadoes for them. Now, for us, it's going to be a pretty decent day. Little rain showers down toward the southeast, but it rolls through us later on tonight. And when it rolls through later on tonight, it's going to lose a lot of energy. And that's exactly what we need. We'll have mainly showers, but we will still have a few rumbles of thunder overnight into tomorrow morning. Are we expecting any severe weather? Not expecting any of that uh, overnight and into tomorrow. Heavy rain, though. If you step outside, step on your grass, it's a little mushy. Any of these heavy downpours one after another, it's hard for them to get into the ground. They can't penetrate the ground, so they just kind of stay above ground and, and what? Cause a little flooding. And that's what we're going to be looking for for tomorrow. Not only that, but you're talking 30, 40, maybe even 50 mile per hour winds with this system rolling on through. Then we hit Wednesday night, just before midnight, and we're going to be seeing the rain change over into snow. Accumulating snow, yes. I would say most of us right around an inch or two. It's not a big system giving some snow, uh, but you could get as high as three inches or as low as a, a coating there on the ground. But most of us sit right around that one to two inch reading. And the good news is it's wet snow. So it's that mushy wet snow that kind of uh, just gets on out of here fairly quickly. And then we hit Friday. A couple flakes, still pretty chilly. Thursday and Friday are going to be your winter days. Look after the winter days. We're in the 40s and 50s there for the weekend. So we're talking about 50s, 60s today and tomorrow. With tomorrow, I would say the rain starts around here, southern Kentucky, uh, the bulk of it that is, starts around here about 8, 9 p.m., and then it rolls northbound. By midnight, we'll see widespread showers, thunderstorms. By the time Chris gets off air, you'll see widespread mm -hmm. showers and thunderstorms later on tonight, and that's going to go through the night and into tomorrow. So a soggy start, start tomorrow and a soggy day. And then a snowy day there on Thursday. So that's two days you really got to watch out for. And then it gets better. All right. It so, does get better. Yeah, yeah so it isn't weekend. a yep. not a not a long spell. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back in a moment. A future cat realizes a huge goal. And a basketball cat with a huge hurdle to clear tonight. Dave Baker's next with sports. Yesterday was encouraging on Wall Street, but here at midday today, the major market indicators are down. CBS Tonight. What are you doing? Good morning to you, too. The doctor is in. Would you care to do the honors? That would be just ducky, ducky. I've been dying to say that. And old feelings. Hi, Jean. Tony. Are coming out. If I had one wish, I would turn back the clock. New NCIS then. This agent's past. What did I tell you? Get closure. Could bring her down. New NCIS New Orleans after NCIS CBS Tonight. Thinking about building a new home or remodeling yours? Then don't miss the new home and remodeling marketplace. Builders, remodelers, suppliers, and designers will be on hand to discuss your project. The new home and remodeling marketplace, February 26th through the 28th at Alltech Arena. Details at hbalexington.com. In Kentucky, elder abuse is on the rise. Most nursing home residents say nothing in fear of retaliation. Watch for signs, bruises, scratches, bed sores, and cues in body language. If you suspect nursing home abuse, you need to seek justice. Call Hughes and Coleman, 800-800-4600, 800-800-4600, before it's too late. Get ready for spring and save big. Kevin's Carpets has a huge selection of hardwood, laminate, tile, carpet, and more. We have any flooring you need at a price you can afford. Kevin's Carpets now serving you in two locations, Lexington and Georgetown. Why, well, you'd have to be crazy to buy flooring anyplace else. Are you happy with your bathroom? I wasn't. But for years, I didn't do anything about it. Like many people, I thought I didn't have the money. Until I learned about the brilliant solution from Bathfitter. Bathfitter puts a new bathtub right over your old one. Isn't that amazing? Bathfitter will measure and make you a new custom bathtub that they install right over your existing one with beautiful matching walls. That means you don't have to rip out your old tub so there's no demolition or ridiculous costs. And they do it all in just one day. That's my favorite part. Plus, you get to choose everything. Book a free consultation and find out for yourself. Here's a before and after photo. This is a gorgeous acrylic tub that fit right over the old one. And only Bath Fitter has seamless walls, which guarantee a watertight fit. When you change your tub, you change your bathroom, and that can change your life. I know because I did it. Call today or learn more at bathfitternow.com.
Accelerate your career plan. Kelly Services is now hiring production associates at Toyota Motor Manufacturing in Georgetown. Great pay and premium benefits package. For details and application, go to kellyservices.us slash TMMK. Thinking about building a new home or remodeling yours? Then don't miss the new home and remodeling marketplace. Builders, remodelers, suppliers, and designers will be on hand to discuss your project. The new home and remodeling marketplace, February 26th through the 28th at Alltech Arena. Details at hbalexington.com. Get WKYT news and weather updates on Mix 94.5. Cats had to scratch and claw to get out of Alabama with a win early in a conference campaign, but now Alabama is better and the Cats are hurting. Chances are you won't see Alex Poitras or Derek Willis tonight when the Crimson Tide comes to Rupp Arena for the rematch. And while John Calipari's team is shorthanded and playing its third game in six days, the bigger issue in this situation might be their mental state after Saturday's emotional loss at Texas A&M. Well, Cal gives, Cal gives everybody 24 hours to sulk or pout after a loss, and then he demands they immediately forget about it after that. So I know everybody, it was a quiet plane ride on the way back. Everybody was, was hurt about the loss. But when you come back to practice yesterday and see them come back into the gym as excited and as positive and as ready to go and as focused on what's ahead and not what happened behind, don't worry about this group. This group is, uh, you know, we got a lot of guys on the floor who are leaders, not just one. It's UK and Alabama tip off tonight, 7 o'clock on ESPN at Rupp Arena. Lafayette big man Landon Young is a big reason why UK fans are so excited about the Cats' incoming football recruiting class. But before he gets into football full time, Young realized a personal dream this past weekend winning a state wrestling championship. Saturday, he took the state 285 pound weight class after winning all 19 of his matches this season. He had been close the past several years, but says the feeling of winning the title. Boy, it was something unbelievable. He, he tapped the mat and blew the whistle. I knew I'd finally done it, and it was just a surge of emotions. You can ask everybody there. I stood up, and I put my hand straight to the sky. You know, not only was pointing up number ones, but thanking the Lord for everything he blessed me with. And um, just a rush of emotions, just being able to know that through all that, I finally accomplished my goal. Six years of work. What a good kid and a large human being. Uh, we've got a lot more coming up from down at Rupp Arena tonight as the Cats get set to take on the Crimson Tide, guys. But for now, that's a look at sports on this Tuesday. Yeah, he'll uh, get no argument from me. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. We appreciate it. And there's more to come in our next half hour of WKYT News at noon. At noon, a large donation to help owners of an iconic general store rebuild in northern Kentucky. And the company that owns the two cranes at Center Point in downtown Lexington are speaking out now about the possibility of crews filling in that giant gaping hole. Tonight's Mega Millions jackpot is $114 million. And tomorrow night's Powerball jackpot is $236 million. 